What we're looking at here is the small UHF TYT TC568, which is uh, used by many as a replacement for bubble pack FRS radios. It's a programmable 16 channel UHF radio. And what I wanted to do was test it with some aftermarket antennas these all being the ones on the left and as you can see here they're all smiley UHF capable antennas along with a counterpoise adapter which is also tuned for UHF with 12 gauge uh, wire the silicone sheath stuff so I'll quickly run you through the antennas here this one here if you can see my cursor is the quarter wave UHF duck the next one is the 270A telescoping steel antenna which is now in its collapsed state and here you can see the UHF stubby duck which is center tuned to 465 megahertz which corresponds to midpoint between FRS and GMRS frequencies in UHF and the UHF counterpoise adapter. We're going to do a little field test of these uh, with my benchmark route along the Spray River and that's after we're going to have a quick look at what the counterpoise profile looks like on a ve vector network analyzer test. The screen you're looking at represents the Smiley Stubby Duck which is center tuned to 465 megahertz therefore it's a UHF antenna and I want to direct your attention to the lower right hand corner of the screen here where marker number one shows the standing wave ratio for a frequency of 466 and it is up here on marker number one statistics the standing wave is 1.272 and just as an aside you can see for those of you that are might have something that's in around the 220 meter or sorry uh, megahertz area the, at 235 we're showing a frequency or a standing wave sorry the smoke is getting in my brain today a uh, standing wave of 1.15 which is actually even better for those of you that are on that band now what we're going to do is uh, just gonna sweep one more time and see what happened while I was yakking there and um, it's moved a little bit down but it's still quite acceptable in that whole area on UHF now what I'm going to do is pause and uh, move over to putting a UHF counterpoise on the stubby and see if that has much effect. I know it didn't have a lot of effect with the VHF stubby. We'll see if the UHF is going to be any different. I'm expecting not. Now you can see the change in the standing wave ratio again I'll direct your attention here to the lower right hand corner where we did get a marginal improvement in the standing wave ratio and you can see that shown directly up here it went to 1.239 and again on 235 megahertz we saw probably even more of an improvement there so the counterpoise is showing that there is an improvement it's not huge but it is there and in fact uh, this will be shown in terms of the field testing where it improves signal quality from a factor of around four by four to about five by five most significantly reducing the static that we could hear in the signal Here's a Google Earth overview of the area where I field tested the antennas and as you can see this has kind of become my benchmark for field testing where in, in Banff from my home location which you can see up here I take off down the Spray River Valley down this track 
and um, have gone as far as this area in here which is the Gold Creek Bridge with testing the other antennas. In this test I want to focus on just when I took the 2 watt TC568 on UHF and got to the furthest extent of the range I could get using the UHF stubby duck which actually tended to outperform both the UHF duck and the 270A on high ground and that is the uh, caveat there is if you get into lower areas then it's not going to really work at all and that's where you're going to want something more like the telescoping steel or indeed the quarter wave UHF rubber duck and this is where we got previously with the telescoping and had very good reception and in fact got way over to here. So here we are at Gold Creek and I'll show you on the Google map where we are and you can see that in some of the previous videos. Now let's go back to this test with the 2 watt radio and the stubby duck and my red line here represents a total distance by line of sight at about 8.8 .8 kilometers. However, if you travel on the ground, you come this way and then you dogleg around and come back to here. And that to that point is a little over 9 kilometers. Let's have a look here at the waypoints that I used in order to get this. And you can see them here now. They've showed up and propagated. Those are the different areas where I went. And I was quite surprised that I made it all the way out to here. And I was able to get a signal of 4x4 four four on the UHF stubby duck at 2 watts when I use counterpoise. And if we backtrack we can see here where I went up to I got 5x5 five 5x5 five, five five being the signal strength and all the way back as you can see these points from home. So that is an indication of how impressed I was with the results I got from the UHF stubby duck and as a result will be stocking and recommending them a lot more especially for certain applications such as the tail gunner radio where distances are not going to exceed much over let's say seven or eight kilometers Sharon, what are you doing? God only knows. We're getting water out of Bryant Creek. 50 years of combined experience. We've never done this before. <laughs>